Hello Aries, how are you? We're getting started with your reading. Let's take a look and see what the overall energy is. Wolf, moon, hunger. Your person is hungering for you. They see you as highly desirable, brilliant to them, a warm place. That is a warm moon. They see you as a passionate person. They want you in the night. Action, they're going to take action. Lovely. So your person has got a goal on, in mind. They, <laughs> For some of you, the action that they want to take is late night in the boudoir. We see a hand here draped over this masculine energy shoulder. We see passion. So your person is probably on the verge of tapping you on the shoulder and asking if you would like to do the horizontal mambo. All right. Oh, it's so beautiful, isn't it? It's such a nice thing that we have a physical expression to our love. All right. So let's see what we have, Aries. What we're looking for is mutual energy, predictions about what's going to happen here for you in the future not right now if it resonates now lovely if it doesn't not to worry it will probably unfold in the coming days okay so the energy between you and a love interest in the recent past is a two of wands so I like this because it speaks to the fact that the two of you are planning an adventure we see the Volkswagen bus down here we see a globe both of you want to travel so you're at a crossroads about what that's going to look like I have an Aries friend and she and her partner are thinking about moving to the Sunshine State. <laughs> so an interesting energy. So let's go ahead and cut the deck yet again. Get this lovely energy in here. See what's going on. So you and your person in the recent past, the Ten of Swords. So it looks as though you and your person have had, you came to a, a dangerously strong breakup point. The Ten of Swords is one of you expressed to the other that you felt very betrayed, you felt very let down, that it felt like a stab in the back as though, you know, you or the other person in this connection felt like you had to walk away. Maybe both of you though, because it is, it is a mutual energy, but it speaks highly to the fact that you're in a different place now looking into the future. So the current mutual energy, see, there's what, there it is, the full card. So it's about the two of you really planning. We see the two of you trying to read the hieroglyphics, but you, both of you are going to take the leap of faith into the future. It's a lovely energy. It's watery. It's very much in tune with what you both need, what you both want. You both have a very strong need to have a calm, happy life, and that's something both of, that, that draws both of you together. Your person and how they are seeing the situation currently well, they feel as though you're in a new building phase. We get the Fool card. We have an ending. We have the Fool card, which is a new beginning. So your person really wants to take it easy. They want to be very toned down. They want to dial it back to the time when you first knew each other. Now, we do get when pigs fly. So your person is definitely... Um, a, a bit afraid of you you know they're they're a bit afraid that somehow that whatever happened here could happen again is the way I'm picking this up the page of cups means that they are offering you love they love you profoundly but they're dialing back all their emotions so that they don't really make a misstep is how I'm reading that in the relationship how they view you well, they view you, Aries, there you are, larger than life in your reading. They view you as a person who, in some ways, is a leader in the relationship. Masculine, feminine, doesn't really matter. What they see is that you're very strategic, you're very smart, you are very much the person that likes to, to be the leader. And so that's a really silly thing to say, but it just shows that your person feels that they were they are a lightweight compared to what you bring to the table they feel as though your history of relationship your history in your life is much more powerful that you're smarter about relationship and they they don't want to misstep again how they feel in their heart space the tower card that is more aries energy so they feel woken they feel shocked they feel fear. They see the beauty and the power of this relationship because when we look at this tower card, it's a lightning strike that comes out of nowhere. 
and they feel they felt that way when they met you is how I'm I really what I get and I get that they every day that they're around you there's a, there's definitely Aries energy it's almost like every day they have an epiphany every day whatever it is that they thought about you the previous day could just go up and smoke so right now they're not trying to make definitive long-term you know uh, decisions because they kind of don't know what you're going to do now i will say this the emperor is really reliable you're very consistent you know what you want you say what you want you strategically work for what you want <laughs> so it's interesting but we will clarify everything of course as we always do the hair font card well that's taurus energy so you may be dealing with a taurus you could be dealing with um Somebody who gets up in their head a lot is what I think with the Ten of Swords. More so than you do, but I do think both of you get in this headspace sometimes of feeling wounded. What I get here is that your person absolutely sees that the path forward, the Two of Wands, the decision making that they would like to partake in with you is to have a traditional uh, committed relationship straight up that's what the hair font is it's somebody with traditional beliefs obviously today by today's standards I often see hair font when it's people who get engaged and live happily ever after together without marrying so when I say marriage energy it is commitment energy it's the energy that says I don't want to be on the dating scene again I really am happy here I want to be with you I feel safe I feel like we're on the same page and that's the energy that your person has about this. So what we see is hidden right now here for you, Aries, is the Queen of Cups. Both of you love each other. You're both very emotional. <laughs> you are both very emotional. The Queen of Cups, we see her palms up, which is a sign of vulnerability, right? Body language. We see the arc here sort of as almost like an electrical current that operates between the two of you in love. There's sort of this constant energy, almost like a light circuit turned on emotionally between the two of you, which I might say, you know, can be a bit over the top, you know, can be a little bit stressful, but it's like, you like it, you know, your person likes it. The two of you like to be together. You like that sort of soft energy as well as the powerful magnetic draw of Mars energy, which is sexual energy. The Ace of Wands. <laughs> All right, I like it. Spirit is saying, make love, go do things, go have fun, uh, you know, make a bold new start. The Ace of Wands is quite literally uh, a masculine energy. Uh, it is all about starting something new. So Ace of Wands, Spirit is actually recommending that you move into the Two of Wands, that the two of you make some very significant um, promises, plans, take actions to manifest what you want. It's the go ahead. And here's another green light. Hello, flashing green light. Hurry up. This is about making love all night long. It's about going on adventures together. It's Sagittarius energy. It's two people who like to wake up in the day and who like to have a lot of freedom about their schedule. Your person is looking at the potential to make a decision that will dramatically change the structure of your lives through commitment through making, I think, a move because the Eight of Wands is rapid movement forward. It's Sagittarius, so it's adventuresome. It's usually a long distance away, so it would be, you know, someplace that would be a thousand miles away or internationally. But the Eight of Wands is air travel, it's adventures, it's passionate just absolute passion of any kind, a passion for rock climbing, a passion for baking, a passion for making love, making love all night long. So I like the energy here. It does look like the two of you have had a hot minute where you really thought this whole thing was going to collapse. Your person is still not sure about how safe they feel, but they are really in it to win it with you. So I like that energy for you. Let's go ahead and clarify some of the cards here for you. Let's see what we have. Why is the Two of Wands here? Tell us why the Two of Wands is here. 
I like the two of wands for you. The two of you are at a crossroads, the hanged man. So you've been at a, the two of you have been at a crossroads for a while. The hanged man is looking at things from a different perspective. It's the energy of not taking action until you're sure what you want to do. And I got the sun card. Remember, we saw that on the pre shuffle. The sun was flipping through. So your person is really looking at the sun, you know, it looks like the two of you are looking at ways to be happier, to be more lighthearted, to live the life of authenticity that you want. It is Leo energy, Sagittarius energy, Aries energy. So the energetic electrical current in your relationship is very powerful. So that's a very good match, Aries, and especially for you. We have the Four of Swords. So going through a period of healing, going through a period of not taking action until you're absolutely sure of what you want to do. I also see the Four of Swords as a healing from whatever this event was. The near breakup, the confession of being hurt or wounded, and I get High Priestess. Both of you are being very discreet. I love the High Priestess. It's Cancerian energy. It's very innocent, sweet energy. Both of you are well-intentioned in this relationship. Both of you want the highest and the best good for one another. So there's a lot to really love about this connection. Why do we have the Ten of Swords here? Why is the Ten of Swords here for you? Oh, nice. Okay. So the Ten of Swords, <laughs> I'm, I'm laughing, but it's a good thing. Basically, both of you are so darn independent. Both of you are so desirable. Both of you can make it on your own without even blinking an eye. Both of you are highly sought after by other people. You know, the old single, ready to mingle. I've got it all. I'm cute. I look good. I smell good. I drive, you know, a nice vehicle. I, I have my wits about me. I've built a really good life for myself. And what it does is it makes both of you feel so afraid of losing one another that the independence almost feels like a betrayal. The lack of, you don't need each other. You want each other, but there is, you almost feel like a threat to the relationship because you feel as though you want the other person to need you. But that's mutual energy. And that is very common among people who have lived a bit of life and have proven themselves in the, in the work world and in life in general. So very interesting energy for you. So the full card, you are in the beginnings of a new adventure with one another. You have thrown caution to the winds. You're taking the proverbial leap of faith. The Queen of Swords, it's a very balanced, uh, very balanced. The Queen of Swords is Libra energy. That is the seventh house of marriage. It's everything from prenup agreements to uh, it can. the Queen of Swords can indicate that both of you are in the decision-making energy of the Queen of Swords, which is Libra, which is legal agreements. How much do you want to be together? Do you want to live together? Do you want to buy a home together? Do you want to get married? So those are the things that the two of you are thinking about. You're very logical. You're very well thought out. You're not getting too emotional about the big life decisions because that's what's made both of you successful in life. What do we have here for the page of cups we have the queen of pentacles so your person really feels as though you're an amazing nurturing person when they look at the situation they feel as though you take very good care of them they feel as though because we see that you know it's a mommy card but it's a nurturing card so you know most moms are nurturing everybody in the family be it a baby be it a teenager be it a husband a wife a dog you know, whatever it is, this is very beautiful energy. And your person feels sometimes as though they they may even wish that they had had a mother like you. They may wish that, you know, other people in their life had been like you because this person feels a little bit emotionally mature, but they don't want to they don't want to share that with you. To me, this is a little bit of an embarrassment to them. But what I get also, too, is that this is a nurturing energy that they embody. So it's interesting. It looks like in their own childhood, they may not have had what they needed. And yet, you know, in their in their adult life, they've really learned to be that nurturing, loving person, uh, as well as absolutely adore that about you, that they get to have that with you. What do we have here for the Emperor card? We have the Four of Coins. So... Your person is holding on to you. They feel as though you're very good with money, too. 
that you're very strategic with your money, that that money spent by you is money well spent. They also feel very, when they, when they think of you, they feel as though you might be a little bit possessive. You know, you might be someone who values less coin and more freedom in your life. They see you as a person who is very strong. Look at that, the strength card, Leo energy. So they see you as someone who doesn't have really high needs, that you are really able to take care of yourself. The Three of Cups says that they absolutely have fun, that they're shocked. They're always amazed at how much fun the two of you have when things are good. Now, they do think that there's, you know, they do have a fear of this not being stable all the time. And I think that's come from possibly some arguments with Aries. It might have been you, might have been them. But, um, but again, this person in their heart space, they feel like you're their best friend. They want to make a wonderful love offer to you. They want to come in and make a significant offer. Look at, they're looking back at you over here and they're saying, but, and I'm headed over here, Aries. You're so strong. You're so lovely. I feel like I have to catch up with you. All right. So the Hierophant, why is it here? Ah, Ten of Coins. Well, there we have two marriage cards lined up. Your person really values you. They feel as though they can build a legacy with you. That is happily ever after. I don't want to date anymore. We go from the Nine of Pentacles to the Ten of Pentacles. You're both very single and ready to mingle if you wanted to be. But your person is exactly knows what they want. They want a traditional relationship with you. Virgo energy, Taurus energy, very grounded, very down to earth, very practical. Why do we have the Queen of Cups here as your mutual hidden energy? The Ace of Coins, both of you love each other. You, you know, you probably need to tell each other that you love each other more. I feel as though that would really be a benefit in your relationship. We get the Ace of Coins, beautiful energy. I love it, you know, whenever we get the energy of someone who is um, offering a coin to the other you know we get commitment those are the stirrings it's like a ring in the engagement set why do we have the ace of wands the hermit card you've been alone too much the two of you need to be more interactive it looks like whatever's been happening in your relationship spirit is saying yes you do need time to take time for yourselves however you also need to have it balanced with Ace of Wands action with one another. Your outcome card, big adventures coming up for you. I like it. Look at that lover's card with a guardian angel. So that lover's card is Gemini energy. It's absolutely making the decision to have faith that you are protected by a guardian angel to step into these new adventures that both of you want to take. We have the Page of Cups again. You know, it's interesting because both of you have this energy of maybe having not had the kind of parenting that you truly needed. And with each other, that sometimes creates a little bit of challenge in your love messaging with one another. I get the Five of Cups. Sometimes I think you wound each other. I think sometimes there's a little apology needed. But the Two of Wands, again, we started with the Two of Wands. We're ending with the Two of Wands, looking into the future and really getting past your fears. Your fears are the only thing that I can see would really unravel this relationship if you let it. But otherwise, this looks really rock solid. There you go. There's a great outcome card for you. So Aries, you have the King of Cups as your outcome, final outcome card or clarifier for moving ahead rapidly. And it speaks to the fact that although you're afraid of being hurt, um, you feel like you're you're really guarded. You want to step forward into the decision making. You know, the, the moon is fearful, but look at that King of Cups energy sitting on the throne, very calm very, um, very much in control of the emotions, very mature. The King of Cups to me after the Knight of Cups really speaks to the fact that the relationship is growing beautifully. I also feel that when we look at the King of Cups, it's Scorpio energy. It's usually people who've had a life and death event in terms of a marriage or a relationship. Both of you have really been through something, a major loss, a major ending in your life that was painful, and you've risen from the ashes. You know how to master your emotions. You can move forward. To me, this is always both of you in this relationship 
are the person that people turn to. So if you have adult children, you both nurture your children very strongly. We get the Queen of Cups and the King of Cups. Both of you have a lot of nurturing energy, but both of you are people that others turn to. It's a favorite uncle, the favorite aunt, the favorite brother, the person you can confide in who will never let the secrets out because it's Scorpio energy. So that is your outcome card at this time, Aries. What a delight. Thank you so much. Sending you love. Send some back. Thank you. Bye-bye.